Hello YouTube, this is just a short video demonstration of my high-tech reflow oven that I picked up on a flea market and I just want to show you how it works with my OLED ESP board so this is the first time I'm doing this on video so let me put that in without dropping it Okay. Sorry about the shaking. Well, I don't know. Can I zoom in on this? Oh, yes, I think I can. Okay, let's see how well it will be able to be seen. Okay, I just turn this high-tech device on it has one heating element in the bottom one in the top okay, sorry about the light I'm trying to get it as good as possible uh, okay this takes about two minutes supposed to put this light okay maybe this will work so this is a micro SD card slot on it some LEDs 0805 resistors some caps and the switch, I don't know if the switch will survive this, but we'll see. Okay, not much happening. Okay, now it goes, you see how it's getting all shiny and I just wait till it does this on all pads I need a little more time I think okay the switch still needs a moment okay now you see the pins on the switch and that's it all pins are float I cut off the power because I cannot turn this mechanical timer switch back but I did cut the power and we'll open the lid without hitting my phone now well, it smells baked I'm sorry, it's not in the view. Let's go back to camera. Pull it down. Okay. What you can hear is the mechanical timer here. And but since the power is cut off, it's not heating anymore. And that turned off now too. Okay, I will just pause the video for a moment and put this thing on my cooling platform. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. And here you can see it. I think our light is not optimal. Oh it's, oh, it's cooled already, so no need for my heating, uh, cooling aluminium. So this is the board. And 
and everything seems to went well. I will inspect it closer with my magnifying glass. But this is it. If I would done this by hand, it would take me at least uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Toaster oven, two minutes. So this is a huge, huge help. And from now on, I will do this with all my boards. As you see, even the LEDs do solder nicely. <coughs> Excuse me. I did also do these. These will be my clocks. You can see here the one cap a little crooked on there, but the connections are right and there is no short. <coughs> this is the other one. So this is a huge help from now on which will cut my time soldering these in about one tenth of the time anyhow as you see a cheap toaster oven will do the job you don't need necessarily a fancy with the, all the reflow charts and this and that just think about it you have so many different parts on this which i'm sure the What's it called? I cannot. Oh. The quartz on this, the crystal, not quartz, the crystal, will definitely need more time to melt than the resistor, for example. And I'm sure those LEDs are much more uh, sensitive to heat than anything else. And then you're supposed to have a toaster oven, a reflow oven, with a preset curve. And that curve is supposed to be all the same for the old parts? I don't think so. I'm sure each part has its own curve, but yet you are doing it with one curve. And now think about people like myself who used to do this with a soldering iron. Where is it? Here. And I'm, I'm using this with 300 centigrade. And I'm sure my oven does not go up to 300 and actually it melts around uh, I think 2 or 220 centigrade Celsius the solder paste so this is perfectly good you don't need any fancy uh, what you could do is just put a timer in and a temperature sensor so it will not overheat but other than that and this is not gonna be something that you automate put in and then go away because it just takes two minutes i mean i'm sure you can spare the two minutes watch this and if it's getting shiny the solar is getting shiny and everything's reflowed you turn it off and take it out that's it i mean why make it so over complicated i'm sure there are parts out there that are highly sensitive and do need the right curve but for somebody who is doing this at home, just get a cheap toaster oven, guys, or girls, and uh, be done with it. I paid a whole, I think, eight bucks for the toaster oven. Eight dollars. Okay, it's it was a used one. I bought it, I cleaned it up, and I was lucky enough that it still worked with both heaters still working, and that was just uh, <laughs> unbelievable. I. I could kick myself for not doing this earlier or before. I mean, look at this, it's just so much easier. Anyhow, thanks for watching and take care, everybody, and have a great weekend. Bye.